Welcome to video 5 of series 3 and in this video I'm going to go over I guess some of the most basic sort of code stuff you will do over and over and over which is to find stuff and to access it. Uh, so just to start with I'll make a UI text. I'll just briefly go over the Unity UI system uh, and then I will access the text and put in the welcome message. In Unity, I'll go ahead, I'll right click here, I'll add in a UI canvas. So your UI stuff goes in a canvas, then I'll put in a panel, uh, and this panel will automatically fill the screen, that's how it's set. Let me go to 2D mode, that's the easy way to edit UI stuff. And it's currently set to stretch, to fill the screen. Uh, it's anchored to fill the screen, and it's, I guess it's set to fill it. So um, if I increase the size of the game view, you can see it just fills the screen. I can change that. There's a default uh, anchor presets here. I'll set it to the middle of the screen, the center of the screen, and I'll change the size uh, as well. I'll say the width of it is 400 and the height is 200. And now what will happen is when I increase this, it'll stay centered uh, with the screen. I can change the anchor. I can move the anchors. Uh, so that's just the pivot point, but if I move the anchor itself, uh, let's say to the top right corner, then what'll happen is it'll stay relative, it'll be positioned relative to that top right corner, as you can see right there. And that is in fact also a preset, and I could uh, I just set it to that preset. Now to position it just quickly, you can hold on Alt, and then just select one of the presets. So for example, I can move it to the top right, but I don't want to do that. I want it to be in the center, so I'll move it there. Okay, and the blue thing, by the way, is the pivot point. So that just determines, like, for example, uh, I move it to the top left. So this position X, position Y is relative to the anchor point. Uh, so for example, if I move the anchor point uh, over to the left, just for this example, and I set, uh, because I set that uh, pivot point to the left, if I go to zero, it'll go up to the left side of the screen. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much how it works. You you figure it out by playing around with it. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's very uh, it's very well thought out. At least that's what I think. Anyway, I think it's very well thought out. And uh, I'd like to just get that pivot back. Okay, uh, let me just grab it, put it back in the center. Okay, done. Okay, so that's the panel. Uh, I'm gonna put in a text field inside of it. So again, right click, add a text field. By the way. This is the parent game object, and these are children of the parent. So this is canvas is the parent of panel, and panel is the parent of text. So just remember that terminology, because that's one of the ways uh, that you use for finding stuff. Uh, so now with the text uh, 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 UI bit, well, what I will do is I can change the size of it. I don't have to. Um, I like to center it, so I'll center it. I'll put on best fit, that makes it automatically go to the biggest size that it can, whatever is set here to max size, and that'll suit me fine. Or will it? How about I just increase the size some more? And I'll just set it so that it's in the middle of the panel. The This one, so this is relative to the panel, and the panel is relative to the canvas. So uh, that's why when you uh, move it around, the text stays inside of the panel. Okay. And then I won't set a text. I'm going to do that through code. I want to change the uh, panel color. So I'll just set it to something dark. I'll increase the opacity by changing the alpha channel while increasing it. And uh, I'll set the text color to uh, white so it's really visible. Okay, that's it. That's enough. I'll save it. That's my uh, UI done. I will give the text a unique name. I'll call it welcome text. All right so I can find it and it's unique or rather I'll call it I should call it text welcome that's that's better that's a better way to do it uh, it'll be easier for you when you have lots of text to differentiate what is what like if you have buttons and stuff in the UI uh, all right so now I'll open up my script again I'll just reload that okay and uh, I'll just get rid of the update function I don't actually need it and I'm not going to do I'm not going to use a debug log message I'm now actually going to access uh, that text component so the first way I'm going to do it is by having a public variable so a public and what you're going to see here is what I want to do what I want to do is to access this text component on 
this text welcome game object. So remember the text welcome is the game object. Its name is game object and it has a component called text. Now I cannot actually access it uh, just by typing in text because I am not using, I haven't put in uh, the uh, using field that I need. Otherwise I would then have to say unity engine.ui.text. Now I have it. So I could do that, but I don't want to do that. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to say using unity engine.ui. Right. And then I'm going to use it uh, here. So I'm going to say public text so text is within that namespace the unity engine.ui and i will give it a name uh text welcome all right and this will now appear in the inspector just like the um uh text string and there you see it it's empty at the moment it says not nothing there it's, it's of the type text uh, so I would assign it by just dragging the text welcome into it. And there you go. Now it's got the text field and I can actually uh, then access it and change the text. But I'm going to just delete that for a moment. Just delete that. And I want to show you an error that will happen. So in my welcome message method, I'm going to access this. I'm going to say text welcome dot text. So I'm going to access the text uh, field itself and I want to say assign it my message all right uh, so will this work no it won't because there's nothing here it will not be able to find it it won't know what I'm talking about and it throws up a null reference exception and that means it actually tells us what it means it's something's not set up properly it's got a, it doesn't have a reference to something and that's exactly what the problem is if I double click it it'll show me where the error got generated and it's right here because it can't find uh, this text welcome it, this thing is not existing it's null uh, so if you didn't want your game to crash when you're trying to find something, then uh, you should use if text welcome is not equal to null. All right. So if you do this check beforehand, you check whether it exists in the first place, then you won't get an error message like that. So if the text welcome is uh, existing, basically, if it's not non-existing <laughs> is what's written there, then uh, assign the message. So if I go back and hit play, there'll be no error message. The game won't crash. Uh, so that's one way. And I can also, as a developer, since, since this field is important to me, I want it to be set. So if it didn't do that, then else I want to send a, a warning message, a debug log warning message to myself as the developer that, uh, welcome text not assigned. All right, and uh, okay. So what I'm saying here, if this is not existing, if this condition is not satisfied, then carry out this instruction instead. That's what else is. So if I hit play, right, I get the warning message that welcome text not assigned. And if I now uh, place this in the inspector and hit play, it'll get filled in. There you go, it works nicely. Now, do I have to do it like this? Does it need to be a public field? No, and um, most times you don't want something like that. Uh, you want it that you're creating the game object on the fly, and then you want to access a certain field on it, certain component, and set something. So then it's going to be private. Okay, so now you need to find the text welcome game object first you must find it in code and then you must get the component text and then assign uh, the value to the text field okay uh, so to find something uh, so of course this is not going to work now at all uh, and well why don't i just run it and see what happens and it says not assigned okay so it doesn't work right so I need to assign it. What I like to do is I like to create another method, void set initial 
references. So these are both my own methods. This one set initial references and my welcome message. And in it, I like to set up my references. So I need to find the text welcome game object. So I'm going to say text welcome, assign it game object dot find. So this is one way to find game of game objects. You find it by its name. Uh, so that I don't make a mistake, I also like to go back to Unity, just copy the name, come back, and put it in there. And then uh, just close that. So that's how you do it. You say game object dot find. So now I'm finding the game object, but that's not enough. This is off the type text. So I need to get component dot get component text. And note the uh, way I'm writing this note, the characters, you need exactly the same things. So inside of that, put in text. Okay. And that's it. I found it. Don't forget the semicolon. Save. Uh, so now it will get found and the component will be accessed. So if I hit play, it'll be happy. Or will it? No, because I didn't call the method. Right. So of course, in the start function, I have to say, set initial references, right? Otherwise, then it's not going to get called. This instruction doesn't get called. All right, so now let me go back and hit play, and it should be all right. Okay, so there we go. So I've got the welcome message, and it's just fine. Okay, so in this video, you set up a basic UI. I uh, just learned a little bit about it, just a fraction, not very much. I do strongly recommend that you go and watch the Unity tutorials. Uh, there's a huge number, and especially when, since you're learning new stuff like the UI, go watch the UI tutorials. Learn about the different stuff that's there. There are also heaps of scripting tutorials as well, so whatever uh, that I'm not explaining, it's all explained there, really. It's all there. So go and go and watch them. Go and try and understand what is uh, being covered. There's heaps of stuff, heaps of content. Make sure to go and study uh, the Unity tutorials themselves. All right. Okay. So going back, as I was saying in this video, you implemented a UI, and uh, then you then you access the text component on that. You access the welcome text. And you access the text field, you put in the welcome uh, string into it, and it displayed. You did it two ways. One way was you had a public a variable of public type and a public variable, and you slotted in the text component here, and then just accessed it like that, and uh, just set the welcome message. Then the other way was it's a private variable, and then I actually have to find the game object that has that component, so find the game object that access the component and then set that text to the message. All right. Uh, so that's it. That's I think that's more than enough for this video. All right. So move on to the next video, which uh, I'll show you just a bit about uh, delaying code. How do you delay code? It's a very common thing uh, that you do. So how do you delay a function from the code within it from running just for a few moments? Uh, that's a very common thing that you'll be doing. Uh, in game development. All right. All right. So thanks for watching and move on to the next video.